It's uh, November the um, 28th, 2023. We were waking up by the fire alarm in the building today. Uh, we had a person sleeping down here in the hallway. There was no fire. We had uh, the homeless uh, getting into our building again. This is just one area. I'm going to slowly walk you through the building and show you the mess that they leave behind. We had one here. One who's in there. We had another drunk, as you can see. That's beer all over the floor. He was uh, lying here muttering and uh, he seemed to be a bit on the threatening side. So uh, our security have cleared these people out of the building. But we were awakened again by the fire alarm going off, which some one of the homeless pulled it. I'm just going to walk you through the building and show you exactly what's going on. And the mess that they leave behind. We were awakened just before uh, 12 o'clock as well. Again. This is the front lobby here. We have a mess here. Going up the stairs again. Again, there's a mess here. We come in. They broke our door at the front. The front door is totally not secure right now. We're waiting for maintenance to come and try and secure it. The building again. They broke it in there. The building is filthy, as you can see, but this is the way they leave it. They had a uh, person sleeping up here as well on the landing. They cleared them out. Going up again, just to show you, this is what they leave behind. They jump, trying to get up our stairs, which is dangerous if there was a fire getting out. They cleared off this landing as too, as well, security. There was two people sleeping here as well. So again, they've been uh, breaking in, tearing things off the walls and whatever they can get their hands on. And this is not maintenance. Maintenance cleans the building. But again, it's as filthy as can be. And I want to go down the other stairwell in a minute, just to show you when they get sleeping in our stairwells. Again, people leave things here too. That's part of the tenants. They leave things in here, even though they have a thing very clearly. Just, I'm just going to go back and show you. They were ripping these off the walls. To clearly show that uh, this is social housing here, and this is a problem that we're facing down here. That nothing is supposed to be impeding our exit out of the stairwells in case of a fire. Again, there's more junk in the corner here. Some of this is also from last night, the night before. And again, you can see more junk here. If we were to try to get out in the case of a fire, we'd be literally slipping all and sliding all over this. And when it's a mess like this, the cleaners do not even want to come in and clean our buildings. But we suspect that they were smoking something and set the alarms off, or pulled one of the alarms, I'm not sure which. But down here, you'll come down here, and you'll see, yeah, this is a spot right here where they urinate. Now, if we're trying to get out and fire, nice pee. We could slip and fall on our way out in the middle of an emergency. If all we have is just the emergency lighting has to go on, it would be very difficult to see all this as well. Again, I'm just going to bring you right down to where I started. And then again, that's where the other person was sleeping. So we had a total of five people 
getting in and with the door unsecured, they're calling maintenance, but we may not even have a secure door overnight yet. And they're just going, going to keep walk, constantly walking in our building. So this again is November 28th, 2023. And again, I'm just going to sign off for tonight and be safe and uh, watch your surroundings and we shall talk to you again soon. And bye-bye. Take care.